An alarming new piece of video now surfacing showing Al Qaeda is nowhere near to being on the run, rather alive and growing. So here's the tape. Hundreds of armed men shouting at a rally believed to be taking place in Yemen. Al Qaeda's number two showing he's not afraid to be openly seen and openly calling for more attacks on the United States. The brazen video raising questions over our intelligence community and about whether this was a opportunity to take out more terrorists. And political questions, too, since they seemingly contradict the president's famous declaration back in 2012. We'd refocus on the people who actually attacked us on 9-11. And today, Al Qaeda's on the run and Osama bin Laden is dead. Chris Plant, radio talk show host of The Chris Plant Show, Leslie Marshall, Fox News contributor and syndicated radio talk show host. Both are my guests today. Great to see the both of you. All right, Leslie, I'm going to give you, give you the first crack at this because uh, you're a Democrat <laughs> and President Obama is a Democrat who said that Al-Qaeda was on the run before the last presidential election. And here we have a video. They're not in caves anymore. Nope, they're out in the open. Well, that's true. They were on the run and they were in prison in February in Yemen. There was a massive escape and breakout. And quite frankly, I have to say both Yemen and American intelligence dropped the ball on this. But I don't think that makes what the president said at that time uh, any more untrue. The three heads of the snakes of Al Qaeda, the top three were cut off. We need to cut off more heads. No question. Runner underground. I, I, I think I said earlier to one of the producers, I have gophers. They go underground, but they come back out. The yeah. idea that on the run means they've disappeared, that's not realistic. Chris? Well, they were never on the run, and, and that was proved on uh, uh, September 11th, 2012, when Al-Qaeda affiliates, as we like to call them, as though that makes any difference, overran an embassy compound in Benghazi and killed our ambassador and three other Americans, very politically inconvenient for the Obama administration at the time on the lead-up to Election Day. They were never on the run. It was always a falsehood. It was a talking point for the sake of the campaign. It was never true. It continues to be untrue. And, and let's also... Uh, uh, take another thing into account here. Al-Qaeda is not the problem. Al-Qaeda is a manifestation of the problem. The problem is Islamism and radical Islam. Uh, Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda were a product, a manifestation of the problem. They are not the problem yeah, but, incarnate. But, but I see a complete shift. And with all due respect to your analogy about the gophers on your property, Leslie, I mean, Al-Qaeda <laughs> is a little more serious. And, and with all, you know, <laughs> I, I, see, I see this video and I think to myself, for the years that we've been covering Al-Qaeda, especially since 9-11, they don't make videos like this where they show you who you are. The number two in command, I mean, for gosh sakes, we were looking for Osama bin Laden in caves for years. He wasn't showing his face. So I don't really get it, Leslie. Well, I, we did see a couple of videos with bin Laden. And of course, we've seen videos now the and then uh, on, 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 right. on, on, on different sites uh, from Al Qaeda. I will agree with something Chris said regarding Al Qaeda. It's not just Al Qaeda that's the problem. Uh, one of the problems is our dependency on foreign oil. Remember, they feel that we're exploiting their oil. That contributes uh, to their economies in places like Yemen. Yeah. And, and quite well, frankly, we're, ben we're benefiting but, the terrorists in Yemen by doing that though, because could, could it they're also recruiting be though, more. Chris, could it also also be that members of al-Qaeda and especially the leadership uh, heard President Obama say that they're on the run and they're proving that they're not? Well, look, I mean, this is a brazen organization uh, 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 riddled with suicidal maniacs. Let's start with that. In, ter in terms of the, yeah, and yes, the United States is uh, is in retreat. The United States is receding. And, and for all the drone strikes and for all the activities that he continued from the President Obama has continued from the Bush administration, uh, this is a very difficult problem. A and and the big lie uh, during the campaign that they were on the run and, you know, bin Laden is dead, that part is uh, uh, presumably true. Yeah, they're, they're being a little more shameless. And, and as you said, look, there were bin Laden videos and other videos, but it was one man in a cave that they stripped to the background so intelligence couldn't tell where they were. This is unusually brazen. And the faces that have been fuzzed yep. up by the Al Qaeda people yep. indicate that they are concealing the identities of some of the people for us, but from us, presumably for future application. Yeah. And we know what their future I applications are. I, I think are. it's a very scary, scary piece of video. Uh, but I got to wrap yeah. it there. Chris. Leslie, good to see you both.